In this video, we'll be looking at the meaning of the angle of elevation as well as the meaning of the angle of depression. Now, oftentimes in a trigonometry question, you will see a diagram drawn for you. But in many other cases, the situation will be described and you'll have to visualize what it looks like. That's the main reason why it's super important to really understand what these two things are. So let's start off by the angle of elevation. So I have a little guy here and he is looking up a hill he wants to climb it you know he's pretty athletic and he's like yeah i want to get to the top of that mountain so he's looking here um so that means this guy is looking in this line of sight well the angle of elevation is the angle between a horizontal line so this is the horizontal and his line of sight so this is the line of sight and so the angle in between that is called the angle of elevation. And it makes sense because he is looking up. He's looking at the elevation. All right. So we'll do an example with the angle of elevation later. I just all want to show you the angle of depression first. And then we'll kind of, you know, throw it together. So the definition of the angle of depression is actually really similar to that of the angle of elevation. The angle of depression is the angle formed between a horizontal line and the observer's line of sight, but this time the observer is looking down. So let's say the guy, some guy is standing up on a cliff. I don't know how he got there, but he's there, you know, and so he's looking down. So I don't know. He he looks like he has more than two legs but that's okay all right so he's looking down and he's like okay how am I gonna get down to this other flat surface over here so he needs to do a jump or something so he's looking at that surface right here because he's going to try to jump it so his line of sight is right here but the horizontal is right here. So the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line where his eye is, so that horizontal line here where his eye is, and the line of sight going down here. So this is the angle of depression. All right, and as you already know, but I'll write it anyway, that's the horizontal. And this here is his line of sight. All right. So if you have two people and they're both looking at each other, then you're going to see both an angle of elevation and an angle of depression. Let's look at that scenario. Okay, so it's like a prince and a princess situation here. And the guy's up here, the girl is down here, and he's like, oh, I'm going to come to you. And she's like, oh, yes, please, please come to me. And then, you know, they have to figure out what angle and distance and stuff for separating them, all kinds of good stuff. So the horizontal for the guy is up here. The horizontal for the girl is down here. There we go, down there. And... Uh, both of them are looking at each other, so their line of sight is this going across here. Now for him, for him, his angle of depression is up here. And for her, her angle of elevation is down here. And this should look familiar to you. We have two parallel lines and one line going through both. This is actually a transversal, and these are actually alternate interior angles. So the angle of depression for him is actually equal to the angle of elevation for her. All right, let's do one quick example of either one, depression or elevation, and just so we can see how it works. Okay, so what you're looking at is the picture of a rescue mission. They are trying to save, they're in this helicopter, right? And they're trying to save this little guy here. He's drowning, he's saying, help, help. Um, so these guys here need to help him. So they have this, this rope, you know, you know, those rope that people use to save people. And it's 18 feet long. So it goes down to the water. And so that means they have to be flying. They're flying um, 18 feet above that water. Uh, well, 
they also know something else. They also know that their angle of depression, as they look at the guy from the door right here, the angle of depression they know is 42 degrees. So remember that the angle of depression is the line, or sorry, the angle between that horizontal line and their line of sight. So as they're looking at him here, this angle is what is 42 degrees. That's the angle of depression. All right. Well, let's close this up. And notice it makes a nice, wonderful, beautiful right angle triangle. All right. And also remember the rule with alternate interior angles. If that is 42 degrees, then we know that this right here is 42 degrees. You could have also figured out what this is, and that's fine. All right, so that's 42 degrees, that is 18 feet, and what these people really need to know is how much further do we need to travel to get to this guy so that he can then grab the rope and be saved and be happy. Well, what they're really asking for is the distance here, the horizontal distance from the plane to the guy. All right, so now that we have all of that visualized, all of this becomes stuff that we've already done. All right, so what do we do at this point? Well, we have here our opposite, that is opposite the 42 degrees, and we're looking for something that is adjacent to the 42 degrees. So we have to use toa. In our soka toa, we have to use tan. So tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. And so tan of 42 equals opposite, which is 18, over x. Now we can go ahead, put this over 1, and cross multiply. And we get that 18 is equal to x tan of 42. That's a 2. All right, so we're trying to isolate that x so we can divide both sides by tan 42. Now imagine the guy in the water as if he was the one doing all this math while he's drowning. That would be really sad. But don't worry, it's the people in the plane, so it's okay. All right, so then x is equal to, when you put that in your calculator, you should get approximately 20 feet. So they actually only have to travel 20 feet from here to here to get on top of where he is, drop the rope down, and everybody's happy. I hope they do their math fast, though, or else he won't make it. All right, that's it for now.